What if we give GPT-4 a virtual body and we make it play Minecraft on its own? This paper presents Voyager. It can navigate the Minecraft environment, learn new skills, and even make new discoveries all on its own without any human intervention. It adapts to different situations and interacts with the game in ways that very much resemble human problem solving and discovery. It might look silly to use AI for a game, but this paper pushes the limits of what AI agents can do in exploring and learning from complex virtual environments. It showcases how these agents can, on their own, acquire new knowledge and skills. So this AI is not only prompting itself, it thinks, makes decisions, and executes action all on its own. So what is inside Voyager? How does it do all this? It has three parts. The first part is an automatic curriculum. An automatic curriculum is like a plan for Voyager. It's a system that dynamically generates a sequence of tasks or objectives for the AI agent to learn. The tasks are created in real time. The curriculum constantly evaluates the skill level of Voyager, exploration progress, and the state of the Minecraft world. Based on this information, it generates new tasks that are challenging but manageable for the agent. This way, the curriculum adapts to Voyager's evolving needs and abilities, providing a continuous stream of new and appropriate challenges. The ultimate goal of Voyager's automatic curriculum is to maximize exploration. It proposes tasks that push the agent's boundaries to discover as many diverse things as possible. It's really a self-driven learning system. For example, when Voyager learns how to gather wood and craft wooden tools, the automatic curriculum might then suggest a new task for Voyager to learn how to mine stone and craft stone tools. Once it successfully completes this task and acquire the new skill, the automatic curriculum steps up the challenge. It will then propose a more difficult objective. This process repeats with the automatic curriculum dynamically generating new tasks based on Voyager's progress and abilities, keeping the agent engaged and continuously learning, self-guided, making its own decisions. The second part of Voyager is a skill library for storing and retrieving complex behaviors. This skilled library is used to store all learned behaviors or skills that the agent can access whenever needed. These stored behaviors are executable code that represents any type of action. Voyager can recall and reuse these stored behaviors whenever it encounters similar situations in the future. This enables Voyager to build upon its past experiences and rapidly expand its abilities over time. So for example, if the wood pickaxe that we made before breaks, it knows right away how to make a new one and does not need to learn it again. Voyager will make informed decisions based on its past successes, continuously improving and performing more and more complex behaviors with ease. And the final part of Voyager is the iterative prompting mechanism. This mechanism enables Voyager to generate executable code for controlling its action within the Minecraft world. And it does so through an interactive and iterative process. Basically, Voyager engages with GPT-4. It prompts the language model with information about its current state and the task it wants to accomplish, such as crafting, for example. In response, GPT-4 generates a sequence of instructions, which is essentially code that represents the step required to perform the task. But here's where the iterative aspect comes into play. Voyager takes the generated code and executes it. If the code fails to accomplish the intended task, Voyager learns from the feedback provided by the environment and execution errors. It uses this information to refine the code and improve its quality. For example, let's say Voyager attempts to craft a stone pickaxe, but fails because it doesn't have enough cobblestone in its inventory. It will get an error that it doesn't have enough of this resource. It incorporates this feedback into the next prompt given to GPT-4, requesting new instructions that consider the need for acquiring more cobblestones before attempting to craft the pickaxe again. GPT-4 responds by generating a new sequence of instructions that address this issue. This iterative process continues. Voyager refines the generated code based on every new feedback until it successfully crafts the stone pickaxe. Once successful, Voyager can store this code in its skill library and it knows it forever. And they state that Voyager surpasses previous state-of-the-art methods in many performance metrics within the Minecraft world. 
Well, there is really three main things we want the models to be good at. Exploration, the tech tree, and the map discovery. So exploration performance, this measures how well Voyager can explore and discover new items and knowledge. Compared to previous methods, Voyager excels by uncovering a greater number of unique items within a given number of iterations. For the tree tech mastery, it represents a hierarchy of increasingly complex tools and technologies. It unlocks key milestones faster and more consistently, showcasing its ability to rapidly acquire advanced capabilities. And for the map coverage, this metric evaluates how far Voyager can explore. Voyager covers more ground across longer distances within the same number of iterations. And Voyager has zero-shot generalization capability. This means it's able to apply its learned skills and knowledge to solve new tasks in an entirely new Minecraft world without any additional training. If placed in a new Minecraft world and tasked with crafting a diamond pickaxe, Voyager can craft it with no problem. This current version of Voyager has some limitations. It does not currently support visual perception, so the agent is not capable of processing visual information from its environment. It doesn't see the game the way we do. It relies on text-based descriptions of its surrounding to understand and interact with the world. So it can't build complex things because it makes errors in the spatial details. It will, for example, make a wall with holes in it. However, given human feedback, Voyager is able to construct complex 3D structures. They used human feedback in two ways, human as critic, so the human provide visual critique to Voyager. We tell it if there is a hole in the wall, allowing it to modify the code from the previous try. And human as curriculum. So a human breaks down a complex building task into smaller steps, guiding Voyager to complete them step by step. So it applies the same principle as we do when we try to ask GPT-4 complex questions. Breaking them down always gives better output. Voyager can almost be called intelligent. It adapts, explores, learns constantly, pushing boundaries and achieving more and more. I can only imagine how these agents will evolve over time. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.